What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Natural Nigel Beauty. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm coming at y'all today because I did my drastic haircut slash um, hair color yesterday. And I did a video yesterday, but I was half asleep, asleep and I just didn't like the way it looked, so I decided to redo it. So, two things. One, my hair wasn't as damaged as I thought it was. I ended up, my friend ended up cutting my hair for me. And we only cut off about two inches. So it wasn't too bad compared to, because at first I thought I had to cut off almost half the, the length of my hair. And he, you just looking at it now, let me zoom in a little bit, it's not that short. So I'm actually kind of happy. So I do get to play around with and have the same, sorry, play around with and have the same type of, for the most part, on different hairstyles. And it won't too much, um, it won't affect too much of different types of styles I plan on doing. Um, another, the other thing that I'm, that I'm, I'm actually kind of upset about this, we went and bought some really, not, well, it was, it was, I should know this to begin with, um, it was discounted hair dye from, it was from Soft, Soft Sheen Carson, I believe, and, um, it's called High something, High Resolution, something like of that nature for the hair dye, and I bought it in this little, it was called Sonic Shock was the name of the color. So you can just Google Sonic Shock hair dye or hair color and you'll see the brand I was talking about. High resolution, that's something that's called. You just look and so you can kind of see, as you can tell, my hair is still black for the most part, except for the roots in which you can kind of see a little bit of color. So basically, I got new growth. Wherever I got new growth, where, where the color took. Everywhere else, it just turned back to the color my hair was before I dyed it black to begin with. So, I'm a little upset about that because one, I really, I'm looking at my hair roots now, the color would have looked phenomenal on me. It would look awesome on me. But unfortunately, I wasn't, um, my hair could, didn't take the color. Maybe it's because it was already dyed dark, I mean, dark, dyed black or what, or a process. I'm not too terribly sure. But for the most part, my hair is healthy because I, we did clip a lot of it, a significant amount of it. Um, so for this next week, for the Natural Hair Style Challenge, I think I might just wear my hair in the, um, wash and go state, only because I have a lot of, well, at least a lot of work to do tomorrow, and I don't want to have to deal too much with my hair. So, um, I have to learn how to do a wash and go without doing, sorry, move this light off the way. I have to learn how to do a wash and go without washing my hair every single day. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't know how I'm going to pull that off. I'm going to try. Um, I might have to wash my hair twice in the, in the week. Um, we, we shall see. I just want to let y'all see how my hair looks. All right. And this was literally a, a wash and go I did this morning. My friend finished, when she finished doing it, it was blow dried. Well, she blow dried it out just to, so I could see how long my hair was. So when we blow dried it, I lost a lot of length because of the two inches. But yeah, to me my hair still looks good. It's a lot healthier now. I don't have nearly as many damage things. I do have a, a couple, but I, in terms of like length um, retention, I got to re retain a lot of my length. And my curves look good all around, even in the front, which I'm really, really, really surprised and happy about. So I thought I had to go snip, snip to all of it. So um, that's I guess that's my update for this week. I'm still in the process of trying to find a new computer so I don't have to do these videos on my phone anymore. Um, also, for anyone who's interested in my nail color, this is for Audrey, for Aubrey or for Audrey, for, and the brand is China Glaze. That's the, that was the name of the color for Audrey. It's really pretty. It's kind of like a Nicki Minaj's type color. Granted, I don't really like the lady. I, I really don't. But I like this color. It kind of it's, it's neon and it's just different. So I'm kind of excited for that. Um, yeah, I'm kind of rambling. But for the natural hairstyle challenge for this week, I plan on wearing my hair in a wash and go. Unless otherwise stated, it will be worn in a wash and go. So, trying to see really quickly. Hopefully, I can at least see the color I'm talking about. It may look like I'm missing hair here. I'm not. That's actually a big part portion of where the color is. So if I'm, it's like reddish. There we go. You can kind of see it. It's like a reddish brown. And it would have looked phenomenal on me. So um, hopefully round two will come soon. Or oh, round three technically. 
um, will come soon. I need to figure out how long it'll take before I color, I can color my hair again and then maybe go to a salon and see if maybe they can use some booster or find a way to make the color actually take on hair that was previously jet black. Uh, remember, when you're dyeing your hair, you never, ever, 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 ever want to use bleach for natural hair women. It's just not a good idea. It's really drying to the hair, makes the hair really brittle, and you lose a lot, a lot of moisture. So what I, what we did was we used dye, and that's probably the reason why it was so difficult for my hair to take the color. So like, if, if you look at my hair in the light, it looks like I have a rinse, like an, an auburn, auburn rinse in my hair, and not necessarily my hair was dyed, permanently dyed. So, um, yeah. That's okay. I'm going to figure out ways or a way to get it to, to take, I guess. And maybe next time I do the, the color, I'll have you guys watch it with me. Also, look out for tutorial, makeup tutorials. They're coming very soon. I tried to film one yesterday with my friend, but YouTube was acting kind of funny and wouldn't let me record it on, her compu on the computer as well as post it right afterwards. So just be patient with me. I'm going to try to get that video up as soon as possible. Alright, y'all, that's it for now. I just want to wish everybody a great Sunday. Or if you're on the other side of the world, happy Monday, I guess, or happy whatever day you're on. I'm just being real because I'm tired. But um, that's it for now, and I just want to wish everybody a very blessed Sunday. Alright, peace.